Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we work a problem from the Water Resources Breath section of the Civil PE exam. So let's dive in. The highest runoff depth is generated by which of the following scenarios? And then we're given four scenarios, each of the answer choices to choose from. So if we look at this, we realize that this is a hydrology problem dealing with stormwater. But more importantly, it's a concept problem. And even though it's a concept problem, we can still use the PE reference handbook to help us solve this problem. And the concept here being tested is the highest runoff depth. So we're being asked about the highest runoff depth. And the key is to recognize that the highest runoff depth basically means the highest curve number. So we write our highest runoff depth equals highest curve number. I just kind of like to write that as a note to myself to keep me on track as I'm solving this. So given that knowledge, we can turn in the PE Reference Handbook, and at the time of this recording we're using PE Reference Handbook version 1.1, but in PE Reference Handbook we're going to use section 6 Point five, point two, point two, specifically the runoff curve number tables chart in this section. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work through each of these scenarios given in the answer choices to see which one has the highest curve number. So if we take answer choice A and look at that first, we have HSG type A, and HSG refers to hydrologic soil group. So hydrologic soil group, or HSG, type A soil with residential single-family homes on quarter-acre lots. So in that case, the curve number is 61. So I'll just write that as a note, and we'll do that for each of these, and then we'll end up choosing the highest curve number. So let's look at B. So answer choice B has HSG type B soil, residential, single family homes on third acre lots. And the curve number for that is 72. So we'll keep moving down. Answer choice C is HSG type B soil with streets and roads. That has a curve number of 98. And remember, we're getting these curve numbers from the table in section 6.5.2.2 of the PE reference handbook. Answer choice D, we'll look at that one, HSG type C soil on a golf course with 80% grass cover, that curve number equals 74. So if we look at all of our answer choices and remembering that the highest runoff depth equals the highest curve number, we can easily see that the highest curve number is 98, which corresponds with answer choice C, HSG type B soil on streets and roads. So we'll circle that and we've successfully solved this problem. Now the key to this problem is realizing it's a concept problem and realizing the concept that's being tested and making that connection we realize that it's a pretty straightforward problem to solve and uh, definitely one that we want to know how to do as we go into the PE exam. So if this problem helped you or you're interested in more practice problems we invite you to check out our PE depth and breadth review courses over at civilengineeringacademy.com and we'll see you there.